I don't think there's any debate that if we ask New Zealanders to name the most iconic New Zealand insect, this would be up there. We named our company Weta because this is the ultimate uh, little creature in New Zealand, maybe the ultimate monster, although a very beautiful one. And uh, Weta Punga is, uh, of course, God of Ugly Things, and we yep. thought that uh, what a wonderful thing to name our company after. Now, I've saved the best to last. Well, I don't know about the best, but you're a man who appreciates a good horror story, aren't you? Very good, of course. What about this? What do you think's going on here? That is not possible at all. <laughs> what, what, crazy. This is a wetter in its final moments as two Gordian worms leave the body cavity. Ah, okay, so, so the sa it's a sad, a horror show happening it, it, inside oh, its body. Oh yes, absolutely. And the guy who uh, documented this for New Zealand was, was a chap named George Poiner who did all the uh, insects and amber thing that inspired Jurassic Park. So we've even got the movie tie-in to this. Fabulous. Yeah. 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 So. You, and you mentioned District 9 the, just earlier because, of course, these creatures are infinitely inspirational for film design. And that's probably the, well, no, the most literal use of them was in King Kong when mm. we did uh, worked on Peter Jackson's King Kong and the, the fight that uh, the guys have at the bottom of mm. the big crevasse. and. That's literally giant wetters of, oh, of yeah. human scale, yeah. but but the but the prawns, the aliens, the these poor subjugated creatures that mm. have come down to earth, um, were were inspired likewise by these wonderful creatures. Oh yeah.